Axe Eel by Alex Pagliola. I hope I said it correctly. In the year 2047, a new kind of material has been discovered. MSM is the only known living metal that can change its behavior adopting to the environment. This is the material made possible to have new energy sources, but like any other technology, it, it became a deadly weapon up here. Appear and we and war followed with them. Or oh, made new deadly weapons appear and war followed with them. World War III was a long and bloody war. It was the first using special shape shifting weapons. After the War, war through crisis, the world is still on the edge of the abyss, due to the MSM being the only viable metal, or valuable metal. A new gold rush has begun. Aces from all over the solar system comes here in search of glory, facing head to head. Head to head race to gather more MSM as possible. Some are merciless mercenaries, some others do it for freedom and their families, others just to become warlords. No matter the reason they fight, why they fight, only one race can survive. It's an, that's the end of the era, or of an era. That's the beginning of. Wait for it. Axe Eel! And welcome, I'm the Shrine. Uh, well, 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 anyway, welcome to Moxie's gameplay video of Axe Eel, formerly known as Bullshift World Wars. And that was a long time ago. I'm the Shrine. I kind of missed some intro a little bit, but oh well, I, I move forward, and that's where we are right now. So, what is Axe Eel? Well, it is a, um, it is a futuristic, uh, flying, um, uh, fly combat sim where you can, uh, build your aircraft by using, uh, by using fuselages and then adding wings and weapons to it. Uh, it's not as complex as games like um, uh, Mav, Cruel Space Program, Terror Tech, Ro Robocraft, stuff like that. But it is rather decent and it works really nice. Uh, and uh, yeah, and also what makes Axel special is as you've seen from the intro, there's this new metal which can shape shift. And what it shape shifts into, well for planes anyway, is make some submarines. So basically, you can fly USOs in this game. Basically, you can go from up here to down there in the water. It's pretty amazing. So let's get started. Uh, please work. Oh, there we go. As you can see, the options are. Oh, by the way, this game's in early access and has been since September 24, 2014. Uh, and it's and right now the price is twelve dollars ninety nine cents US. And it's actually a pretty and it's a pretty good price for this game right now. And there's a lot of options. Oh, by the way, if you don't mess around with the audio options, you will get no audio. I I had this game for a couple for like a week now, and I've been trying to figure out how to turn on the audio. And so you do it. You have direct sound, speakers, to what your speakers are, and you'll be fine. You'll be fine. And there's controls, lots of controls. Uh, right now the controller and joystick supports at least something to be desired, but they're not really necessary because the because the mouse control, the mouse keyboard in this game is by far the best mouse keyboard controls in a flying sim or in a flying game ever of all time. It's better than War Thunder, it's better than Warplanes, it's better than Star Civs, and it's just in a league of its own. It's so awesome. Every single flying game on the PC needs to have this control system if they want to go anywhere. Uh, so yeah, so let's get started. Now when you first when you first get Axel, you, you see play and then you have three options. Hub is where you mess one of your aircrafts. As you can see, this is the starter aircraft. Uh, we'll be buying that shortly. As you can see, I got enough um, MSM to buy that aircraft. And then, I mean, after these first couple aircrafts, as you can see, the, there are they already have wings. After the first couple, they start not having wings, and then you can really customize the entire aircraft. Though we'll begin that day, we'll be just doing normal gameplay. So let's. Oh, by the way, um, this screen could be uh could be messed with because it's really kind of weird how it works. It works just fine, but yeah, it could be better. Here's all the weapons. Being this, uh, ooh, we are not going to have enough. Well, I'll be getting that. All right, and then here's wings. Oh, you can, by the way, you can change your plane's color any way you want. Oh, 
Oh, they're expensive. Tails. Alright. And then special stuff. And stats. And you can see I played this game a lot. Uh, I've been playing it ever since I got it a couple weeks ago. And it's a really good game. Even with the starter aircraft, it's really good. Or starter... You saw, I guess. Um, it's, it's a really good game. And let's buy this. Close that. Close that. And we got ourselves a new aircraft. Now we can do colors. Uh, I guess we can just go Mac Black. Oh, I have to buy this guy. Nah, fine. Alright, now we're ready to get in the game. Now, I know there are two game modes right now, or there's two types of uh, games that you have to, quit, cl hit, you have to hit, uh, quit over there. Uh, there's Arena, which is, as you would guess, it's Arena. And there's, uh, you get a couple maps, and then you can completely, you can uh, say how many AI you want, what their AI level is. Actually, I can just show you. You battle. Uh, this is also multiplayer. Uh, as you can see, you get a host multiplayer and then your server name. Uh, you get to score, bots, AI of the bots, and then you got a ton of maps to play around with. Or not, uh, but enough. Alright, let's go back. Is there. Uh, is back then the language of this game? Okay, so, okay, we'll do, we'll do some arena. We'll look at the other game mode. We'll look at the other mode in a second. Alright, let's do this. Uh, that's our pillow, and that's my favorite, and let's get into the bed. And this is a good way to get money by just shooting down stuff and just playing arena. We saw I got my money to buy this aircraft. Let's get, get ready to roll. All right, so I'll go over your controls real quickly. Okay, go. Um, go, go, go. W is to go forward, mouse is to turn, um, A and D is to, uh, A and D's to roll, uh, space is to fire missiles, the mouse button is to fire a gun. The missiles in this game are pretty awesome. F is to use your shield, which is your missile counter button. Shift to go faster. Okay, missiles. Oh, I think that's right. Okay, uh, there's a button. Okay, T to talk. Oh, this thing. This thing is actually very stable. I like it. Yeah, see that we. The AI will always use their shield to get rid of, um, you know, to get rid of missiles. So you can, so basically, you can shoot a missile, and then they'll use their shield, and then you can finish them with the guns. Oh, he just ran out. Uh, he just ran out of missiles. Ah, uh, and then I got owned by something. He didn't even tell me what I got owned by. Your game. Oh, and by the way, you have to, you have to conserve your energy, energy is used for shields, uh, and boosters. As well as some weapons to use energy as well. Oh, you're dead now. I'm not even gonna bother. Come on. Oh, just he's suicided? Oh, F. There we go. Oh. Yeah, this game's just really relaxing. Oh, that's energy warning, not another warning. Yeah, the two warnings are kind of, kind of hard to tell. One's on the left, one's on the right, and that's about it. That's like the only way to really tell uh, what's warning is which. And I don't like that. Because I think, when I think, it, oh, by the way, you're under fire warning, which is what you used to use to shield. Oh, that's wrong button. You see, that's your, that's your, by the way, you're under fire. Okay, yeah, he used the nuke. Yeah, there's... There's antimatter bombs which just kill everybody, and the AI get to use it for free. It's kind of annoying. I wish you could actually, I uh, wish you could actually, uh, I wish you could actually uh, modify the how the AI use. Uh, basically, if you because there's no no ability to save your airframe, so I wish the AI could use your airframes that you that you built. It'd be really nice, or or give them a limit on on what airframes to use because they will use they will use stuff that you can't get on. And they got me somehow. Yeah, sometimes you just lose like this. It's not. And I say, oh, oh, it was close, but he was, but he was using nukes, hacking AI, getting max weapons for instant. That's kind of weird. All right. All right. So much money did we get? Not a lot. I do like this aircraft. All right. Now let's take a look at the other game mode. 
which is mercenary miss missions, which is the campaign of this game. As you can see, uh, it's still in it's still in early access, so the missions you are about to play still need adjustments and cutscenes. So I'm not gonna be playing these today. Uh, I'll just be playing uh, I'll just be playing Arena. Alright, no well, let's just play the first one. It's not gonna spoil anything, let's do this. Alright, spy hunting. Your mission is to search and destroy the enemy spy probes approaching to our research ship Pona 3. First, slip off from the deck, then seek the probes. Destroy and return to base. Pay particular attention. Enemy may be near by protect the ship at, all, uh, at any cost. Mission starts 6 a.m. Weather conditions are good. No warnings. No warning conditions are as good as. Yeah, those arena games can really go either way. If you, if you go against people with antimatter bombs, which just which are nukes that just kill everything, uh, then you will lose. If not, then you not lose. All right, here we go. Let's launch. That's gonna be cool. Let's see these probes. Oh, so much graphics. Oh, by the way, you can go back. You can press W. I mean, S to. Uh, Right, you can press S to slow down. Oh. Okay, the, the, I was pressing L to zoom in and, uh, and O to not to zoom in. I'm looking for a special play. Oh, that's okay. That's him. Oh, let's get this guy. I should. I'm trying to do something. I completely forgot the control for it, though. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is how you change, uh... This is how you change, uh, in case you don't like it, by pressing B. I do like this head a little bit. Full speed. Ugh, missiles. Oh, I'm going to less. Come on, turn, turn! Why do I have to yank the mouse? Why do I have to yank the mouse? Gotcha. Yeah, I need to turn up the sensitivity or something. This is just ridiculous. Sensitivity of my mouse is maxed out, by the way. And I don't play maxed out mouse sensitivity a lot. Okay, you go? Let's go! Plunk. First time I ever went on the water, by the way. Much better, much better. I get yeah, they did update the game last time I played, so that might be it. Missiles work underwater, I like it. All right, okay, there's a you. Yeah, there you go. Let's get out of here. Surface, there it is. That's pretty cool. I still need, I still need to just, I need, I, the sensitivity, we need more sensitivity is what I'm trying to get at. We need more sensitivity because it's not sensitive enough. Oh, I ran into you. I have no energy! I have no energy! Ah. That was rather cheap of you, game! Okay, let's try this again. Uh, what, am I, what I'm doing with the mouse is I'm actually having to take it off the mouse pad in order to turn. It wasn't that, ba it wasn't that bad with the starter. It wasn't that bad with the starter um, playing, but with this, adds another thing entirely. Missing just need. The ma we just need more sensitivities. We like battlefield sensitivity that you never use if you wanna have it. That guy. 
Luck on this game is just amazing. It works really well. Compared to other games like Victor Celeste, which luck on is terrible. Look at this. Oh, you went two, eh? Sensitivity so low. It wasn't that bad. It was oh, f. It wasn't that bad when I was playing the starter. I okay. I, I'm going to get the starter ship again because this is just ridiculous. I need more turning capabilities because this is ridiculous. Come on, I can go. I can get cover beyond the ship. I can't dogfight like this. No, oh, this sensitivity. I maxed out. Just the funny thing. I guess you know what, let's try. Oh, or my sensitivity got knocked down because the mess is being silly. I, 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 come on, come on, come on. No, it's not, what the heck? What is going on with sensitivity? Okay, let's try that then. Nope, oh, that's not it. Yeah, I, we need more sensitivity. It's, they did update sensitivity, by the way. It's just, I need more of it. Yeah, we need I don't need more sensitivity or I need more wings. I could yeah, it could be that I need more wings. Ow I'm gonna okay. That's kinda and playing really difficult to use because the previous okay, let's show you. Yeah, let's try this again with my uh, with the starter plane or ship. Or, what do you call these things? I guess they don't have anything to do they? I, 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 did I not? Oh, uh, the pie skin's in the same place as the select. That's weird. I guess it makes sense, but seriously. Oh, forget X, uh, escape doesn't work. Right, let's try this again. Yeah, I just need more wings, I think. No, oh, this thing's having a similar problem. Interesting. This, yeah, this is not, uh, Mm, I don't know. What is going on? It wasn't like this yesterday when I played last. You know, let's give him more wings. Oh, I can't cook wings, can it? No. Yeah, uh... I don't know what you I I don't know I I don't know uh, I just don't know what is going on with the sensitivity it was perfect before but now it's not and I can't use the gamepad because controls I messed up with the gamepad so that's not gonna work or not by gamepad I mean the Wii U Pro controller Goes one. I uh, luck on. No, no luck uh, on, please. That thank you. That play was so difficult of you. Yeah, see, it's just not sensitive enough. It really is. It needs at least a hundred times more sensitivity. At least. Even if I even if I roll, it still needs more sensitivity. Or arrow key controls, that'd be nice. Because I can't dogfight, I, I just can't, it's not possible. Because if I had to lift the 
mouse off the mouse pad in order to turn. And I have to do that several times. I thought he was not coming towards me at all. That was my bad. Alright, let's just, uh, let's go back to Arena and play a match there, because this, the Mercenary mission is just not happening with the mouse sensitivity. With the mouse sensitivity as it is currently, now let's do a different map. There we go. And he's for the win this time. I mean, I guess I can turn my mouse sensitivity up to like 4,000 DPI if I wanted to. Oh, no, 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 no. But that would be silly. As it'll be just for this game. Oh, that'd be a good thing because this game is pretty awesome and it is such a cool game. Also, going vertically and going vertically in this game is very is highly unrecommended because your ship does your ship does weird things. Sensitivity, sensitivity, sensitivity! Come on, work with me, please. Sensitivity, work with me, please. This is not the uh oh. Yeah, it was a nuke. That was see, it's really. It's, I got an idea. I got an idea. I have an idea. How about let's turn down the AI uh, level a little bit so they don't have nukes anymore. I think that's gonna help. Uh, or oh, it was at zero already. Interesting. Or is that's not? Uh, let's lower the bot count. All right, let's try that again. We're doing our repel. Why are we doing our repel? I changed game modes. This game is kind of weird sometimes, but it is a really fun game to just play now every now and then. It, it, it really is my favorite sci-fi flying game at the moment anyway. It's not in space. Now, I work in Wendy's, it's just... I can't do anything if the sensitivity is so, so low. And also, if the enemies have nukes, it also does not. No, you're not getting away. You're not getting away. Right click. And if they have to use the combined powers of roll and mouse and all that, you actually get things, get things accomplished. Oh, you're going down. Yep, there we go. Oh, that's at the map corner. There we go. Oh, that was close. I thought. You're... No. Yeah, right. We were we were spaced by a good two feet game. Oh no 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 no. And also, when the game likes to spawn you, where you're stalled, because it likes to do that. It's a troll sometimes. Yeah, uh, it would be cool, um, it would be cool that bot if you could put in the multiplayer level certain, recommend certain recommendations for the rank of vehicles, so you don't, so you don't have people with nukes and stuff in fact where, I mean, the building and you, you don't. That would be really, really nice, because the only reasons I've been losing these matches is the fact that they got nukes and I don't. And I don't even want to use nukes, because they're silly. By nukes, I mean anti-magic bombs, by the way. I swear the sensitivity was working so great last night, but not, not today. I mean, in the last match we actually didn't lose all that, by all that much. I was forty-seven. The guy was forty. Was fifty-eight. There we go. I win. The good old. Oh no! 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 Yes, it was close. And you know, these matches are always close. I don't think you can see where the match numbers are, but I'll do one more match and see what happens. Uh, actually, can we buy anything?
Actually, yeah, I think that's only if you have wings added on. I, yeah, that's this one saving real quick. Okay, or not. I'll figure out saving eventually. Alright, let's try that again. See, it should have more. Oh, it should have less than ability, but better everything else. Like I say. You can think I could have escaped to go back, but you can't in this game. Alright, let's do another normal battle with, like. How much AI can we have? Thirty eleven, that's fine. Uh, let's try the planes. I've never been here before. Now we're gonna need to get tons of kills, or else we're gonna lose because, well, anyone else can get tons of kills too. Also, the game's very laggy when you first get in uh, an arena match. So, yeah, they're using nukes. Those are nukes. I call them nukes, but they're really antimatter bombs. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, yeah, the game's really laggy early match. Uh, I mean, when you first enter a match. And when that happens, there is a possibility that's not very slim of a guy insta killing you because of a guy spawn killing you, basically. Oh, there's multiple dog fight. There's multiple for balls. No, that one, that was over fast. Can you give me a kill? Alright, so. Yeah. Yeah, they, it seemed like it spawned people in pockets of fur balls. So that was. That's rather interesting. I wish I could turn that off, make it be one fur ball. But then again, anyway, people, this is an early access game, so things are meant to change. Uh, let's back it down to. Time should be fine. Let's do one more match before we end the video. And I'll be back once the game updates, as well as if I get more parts, I'll show you guys. And also, they fix the dumb system to be just this insane. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, with, I guess this maybe works if you're going from target to target, but if you're actually dogfighting, it does not work at all. You can't turn with the AI. And again, I, you know what? I haven't tried joysticks yet. I only tried, I only tried the Wii U. F. Oh, yeah, I got a skull his skill, or he, he almost stole mine. No, I can't F. F. F quickly. Uh, okay, that was... I evaded a missile. You can't evade missiles in this game. It's just really difficult to do. If you thought... Oh, man, I lost... See, you lose because... You're not losing because you're terrible at the game. You're losing because the AI kills more people because they're right next to them. Or they have... Or they have... Or they have AOE attacks that just kill everybody. And that's how you basically lose against these guys half the time. It's kind of annoying, but also it works. Eh, it, it, it's fine, I suppose. Again, I wish you could. I wish you could. Uh, I wish um, the more parts you put on your plane, change your plane's level. And with that level, you can say, "Oh, by the way, I don't want to see uh, this level plane in my multiplayer game, so I could turn that off." That'd be really cool. Yeah, but anyway. Oh, I guess we can miss around with some. Uh, I'll see if I'm gonna get a big plane eventually. I'll take you. Alright, uh, this is what I'm gonna go for. Um, so, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching.
I really appreciate, I really appreciate guys guys watching uh, this video. It means a lot to me. We're also leaving lots of me if you to leave a comment just for Tim and Shalai. Tim, you have any suggestions for, uh, if, I think it's just if I make a series out of this, which I probably will, uh, whether it just be up, uh, whether it just be updates on the game's progress or on the game's progress, or if I feel like playing the game because this is a very fun game as long as you as long as you don't have to as long as it seems to be working in your favor, as well as people as long as you don't get as long as you don't go up against AI which have AOEs that can just kill everybody and you lose that way. Uh, but yeah, so actually, it's a really good game, especially for twelve dollars ninety nine cents. It is a really good game. If you like flying games, uh, get this game. Uh, if you don't like flying games, you still might want to get this game because it's pretty cool. But still, I don't know about it. Basically, this is for sci-fi fiction flying game enthusiasts. Basically, it's it's a really good game. The missions are fun, even though I did even though I did fail the first one because sensitivity issues couldn't turn at all. You dogfight. People, I'm just dogfight. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, uh, thanks, thanks for watching. Uh, I already did that, so yeah, thanks for watching, and I guess see you in a second. <laughs>